joining me is the Swindon manager Dave Webb. And Dave, I thought it was a fairly even first 25 minutes and Hereford rewarded a penalty. Do you think it was a correct decision? Yeah, I think so. I, I, you know, we'd, it's ironic, we'd worked on, uh, after the last two performances where we conceded 10 goals, we worked on defending all week and uh, in 2v1 situations and we had a 2v1 and um, unfortunately, you know, Jack's gone the ground and, you know, I think it's a penalty. If you go to ground in the box and the player goes over, generally it'll be given. So, yeah, disappointed really because, you know, we, we tried to sort of set up in a way that, you know, we give great respect to Hereford and the position that they're in in the table and we came with a game plan what we tried to, you know, stay in the game for as long as possible and then, and then maybe chase it in the second half a little bit. But, you know, the first goal for us was disappointing. Um, as I say, we'd worked on it all week and just made that mistake. But, you know, um, you know, I'm pleased with the players today. I think, I think we've, we've, we've come here, we've had a go, we've tried to play, you know, show great respect to, to Hereford and, and to Pete and his team. And, you know, we, we're disappointed. But, you know, as I said, that's something to build on for us. And we've got to try and win as many of our remaining 11 games as possible and see how I, that can take us in the table. What was your assessment of the Hereford team today uh, in, the, in the press as we can read that you thought Salisbury were the best team you faced so far? Um, I think Salisbury last weekend were excellent. Yeah, they, they, they showed what a good side they are. I think, you know, uh, at Hereford, but, you know, Hereford are, uh, are winning the league by a country mile and they deserve to be and they've been the best team all season. Um, I, you know, I like the way the players, the way they're set up. Um, you know, uh, Simon does a great job for them and Millsy, you know, I've known... I've, come across Millsy so many times over the years and he's a goal scorer and he gets in the right positions to score goals and they're a great partnership you know they they, they play off each other great so um, you know that's a partnership to fear um, and you know for the rest of the side you know good experience good shape to the team as I say and um, yeah you know uh, I said to Pete before the game you know the league's not won yet but it's, it's inevitable it's going to be won and then it's how he builds to get the team up into the next level and then do it again to try and get out of the next league so you know it's, it's, it's a great experience for some of my young players to come here and play today you know I, I'm not sure what the gate was but I'm sure it was near 3,000 so yeah great experience for us um, something to build on hopefully they learn from it and we've just got to keep trying to improve as best we can and, and finish the season as strongly as we can um, you know I'm not prepared to let the season just go you know we dropped out of the playoff spots we've lost the last three games so we need to get a good bounce back next next Saturday against Bridgewater and hopefully win that game. I think in the programme you used to play for Gloucester City, you played my old boss Mark Haddam, who's a big Leicester City fan. Um, what's your take on the Clyde Aranieri dismissal? Uh, I just show I think it just shows how how uh, how strange football can be. You know, it, it, an amazing season for him last year. Um, nine months later he's out of a job. I think I think it's quite sad. I think it just shows you um, no one's safe in, and certainly in top level management, you know, um, they're in a perilous position. Um, you know, I, so I said to our chairman on the way down, it'd be quite refreshing to actually see some players sacked, maybe. You know, players are a commodity that can be sold on, so that's probably why you don't see it. But it always seems to be the manager that, that carries the can for, for players' bad performances. And um, I think his players have let him down massively this season at Leicester. And... It's a shame that the manager has to go, but I suppose they're trying to protect their Premier League status. That's why he's gone. But it's sad, really, and I think you know his players uh, should have a good look and do a good look in the mirror, and because uh, they've let him down massively. And uh, unfortunately, in football, it's always the manager that goes and not the players. Um, but as I say, it'd be quite refreshing to see a, a 15 million pound player let go. Um, I think that would send a good message to the rest of the dressing room. But uh, you never see it, dear. But uh, yeah, sad, sad because he's, he's obviously done a fantastic job there.